Daily Words of God All of God's disposition has been revealed throughout the 6,000-year management plan. It is not revealed only in the Age of Grace, only in the Age of Law, or even less so, only in this period of the last days. The work done in the last days represents judgment, wrath, and chastisement. The work done in the last days cannot replace the work of the Age of Law or that of the Age of Grace. However, the three stages interconnect into one entity and are all the work done by one God. Naturally, the execution of this work is divided into separate ages. The work done in the last days brings everything to a close. That done in the age of law is of commencement, and that done in the age of grace is of redemption. As for the visions of the work in this entire 6,000-year management plan, none can gain insight or understanding. Such visions have always remained mysteries. In the last days, only the work of the Word is done to usher in the Age of Kingdom, but it is not representative of all the ages. The last days are no more than the last days, and no more than the Age of Kingdom, which do not represent the Age of Grace or the Age of Law. The last days are merely the time in which all the work in the 6,000-year management plan is revealed to you. This is the unveiling of the mystery. Such mystery can be unveiled by no man. No matter how great an understanding man has of the Bible, it remains nothing more than words. For man does not understand the substance of the Bible. When man reads the Bible, he may receive some truths, explain some words, or scrutinize some famous passages and quotes, but he will never be able to extricate the meaning contained within those words. For all man sees are dead words, not the scenes of the work of Jehovah and Jesus. And man is unable to unravel the mystery of such work. Therefore, the mystery of the 6,000-year management plan is the greatest mystery, the one most hidden and utterly inconceivable to man. None can directly understand the will of God unless he himself explains and opens up to man. Otherwise, they will forever remain riddles to man and forever remain sealed mysteries. Never mind those in the religious world. If you were not told today, neither would you be able to understand. This work of 6,000 years is more mysterious than all the prophecies of the prophets. It is the greatest mystery since creation, and no former prophet has ever been able to fathom it. For this mystery is only unraveled in the final age and has never before been revealed. If you understand this mystery and are able to fully receive it, those religious persons will all be conquered by this mystery. Only this is the greatest of visions, that which man most longs to understand, but also that which is most unclear to him. When you were in the age of grace, you did not know the work done by Jesus, nor that done by Jehovah. You understood nothing of why Jehovah set forth laws, why he asked the people to keep the laws, or why the temple had to be built. 
and much less did you understand of why the Israelites were led from Egypt to the wilderness and then on to Canaan. It is not until this day that these matters are revealed.